Well, as of Saturday, as a lot of you know, Donald Trump was acquitted by not getting two-thirds of the vote that would find him guilty. Basically, you know, officially impeach him and prevent him from running from office uh, potentially in 2024 choose, uh, if he uh, chooses to do so. But one thing that was interesting, though, and I'll try to provide a link uh, at the end of this video uh, to the clip, but on Fox News, uh, during uh, the program hosted by uh, Chris Wallace, the controversial Chris Wallace, known for his pro-Biden approach in, in the eyes of many people during the one of the presidential debates last year, um, he interviewed Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican, who was there when the votes were counted and everything, and the result of Trump being acquitted uh, was made official. And what was interesting is what Lindsey Graham said. Now he didn't totally defend Trump um, in you know you know in his uh, speech uh, in his conversation with Chris Wallace, but he did bring up something that was really interesting. He brought up the fact that from his point of view and probably the point of view of other Republicans, liberals, you know, uh, green uh, uh, ras uh, 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 grassroots and you know independents and all that, that basically. What happened as a result of this impeachment trial, the second one on Donald Trump, who basically is now a private citizen, um, as many, like even Mitch McConnell, surprisingly uh, mentioned um, and basically confirmed. Uh, Lindsey Graham brought up something, like I said, that really, you know, stuck with me and I'm sure stuck with a lot of people that saw this clip. And as I said, it's something that he and a lot of Republicans and Democrats and, you know, independents, all political, you know, certain members of political parties probably agree with. And that is the fact that with this trial, all they did was open Pandora's box. And what he meant by that was because of the fact that they did this to Donald Trump, mostly a majority of Democrats and some Republicans, you know, doing this to Donald Trump or attempting to do this, they opened the box Pandora's box to potentially this happening again. You know, he brought up the 2022 election. You know, I did a video and I did a video on that not that long ago where I said that election next year is mo probably the most important uh, to watch out for from a net from a national, local and state uh, perspective. But he brought up the election for next year, you know, for the Senate and the House and all that. And he stated that if the Republicans, the GOP, regain control of both the Senate and the House, then what the Democrats and some Republicans and other members of Congress and, and, the, and the House tried to do to Donald Trump uh, recently, as of this past week, in the past few months, or past few weeks, I should say, that if the GOP and the Republicans regain control of, like I said, both the House and the Senate, they could potentially, if they choose to do so, put it in an impeachment trial investigation to Kamala Harris, the first female vice president. Now, he didn't say that they would do it, but basically he said there's that potential of it happening if the Republicans regain control of the House and of the Senate. Because basically, if the Democrat Party, majority of the Democrat Party, Pelosi and others involved, along with some members of the Republican Party, like Romney and a few others, and as well as other you know, political members as well, independent and liberal and grassroots, you know, that if they're willing to try to impeach someone that's already out of office and is once, and is once again a private citizen in the United States, in Donald Trump, which, you know, even, like I said, McConnell agreed is unconstitutional, you know, who's to say they won't be able to do that to Kamala Harris within a year or so, if the Republicans decide, you know, if the Republicans, I should say, end up winning back control of both the House and the Senate? And that is a good question. And you see, this is something that a lot of people, not just average people like myself here on YouTube, but a lot of people from news media, online sites, and all that, you know, whether they're national, you know, whether they're independent, whatever, you know, reb, you know, you know, anti- political, whatever the case may be, this is something that a lot of people worried and worried about and warned about. Because they did say that, even those that supported Biden, said that he and Harris would inherit 
you know, an administration in a Senate, in a House, that it would be divided on both fronts, both Democrat and Republican, you know, mostly. And they were right. I mean, the obvious evidence is right here with this trial. The fact that they didn't get two-thirds of the votes needed to get rid of Trump, to fully impeach him. And that seven Republicans sided with the Democrats that wanted Trump impeached. So, you know, you look at what they did here and you listen to what Lindsey Graham said or mentioned, and he has a point. If the Republicans get control, once again, of both the House and the Senate, who's to say they won't go like, hey, you put Donald Trump on trial for something that he really didn't have nothing to do with, didn't really want to happen? Okay, let's take Kamala Harris and her checkered background and let's put her on trial. Or let's take our president and put him and his son on trial. Who's to say they won't consider doing that since it was done to Donald Trump? So I think Lindsey Graham has a point. Now, again, to, again, to basically repeat here, he didn't, initi he didn't initially say that will happen. He said potentially it could happen if Republicans regain control of the House and the Senate. And he might be right. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's going to happen. You know, again, I'm just an average citizen, U.S. citizen here on YouTube giving my opinions, you know, on the situation. But, you know, I can't say whether yay or nay that potentially is what a lot of Republicans that could be in the running for these seats in 2022 aren't considering, even those that support Trump. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on what Lindsey Graham had to say? Do you think potentially there's a chance it could happen? Or do you think maybe the Republicans that might regain control of the House and the Senate will just make sure to keep a stern eye on both Harris and Biden and the decisions they make along with the administration? What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think in the live chat. And I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. Stay safe. And I hope you had a safe President's Day.